In this lecture, we'll solve for the pH of a weak base solution. We'll be doing a lot in this lecture. To solve for the pH of a basic solution, we'll need to find the equilibrium concentration of hydroxide. To do this, we'll need to set up an ice table. Use the quadratic formula to find the equilibrium concentration. And I'll show you how to bypass the quadratic formula and use the approximation method. I'll find the percent dissociation to test the approximation method. And finally, I'll find the pH of the solution. I'll leave timestamps in the description so you can jump to any point of this lecture. So let's get started. Let's solve for the pH of a 0.30 molar methylamine solution. Here, you'll see the balanced equation for the reaction of methylamine acting as a Bronsted-Lowry base and water acting as the Bronsted-Lowry acid. Notice that hydroxide is produced as part of this reaction. And we'll have to solve for the equilibrium concentration of the hydroxide, then find the pH. So let's set up an ice table. I have discussed the ice table in an earlier video, which you can see here in the upper right hand card link. But for fun, let's discuss it again. Ice tables are used to simplify solving for equilibrium concentrations. I is for the initial concentration, C is for the change in concentration, and E is for the equilibrium concentration. Initially, there is 0 0.30 molar methylamine. We can ignore the water. Recall, liquids are not part of the equilibrium expression. Equilibrium does not depend on liquids and solids, so we can ignore them for this exercise. Of course, initially, there is no conjugate acid nor hydroxide. They are both zero. Now let's talk about the change. I'll set up the reaction quotient Q from the law of mass action and see that this ratio is equal to zero. The Kb for the reaction of methylamine with water is 4.4 .4 times 10 raised to the minus 4. This is usually found in your references or tables of constants. Since Q is less than K, the system is not at equilibrium. There will be a shift to the products so that more products can be formed and so that the law of mass action can yield a ratio equal to the equilibrium constant. Now let's fill the table. We'll write minus 1x for methylamine. The minus sign represents methylamine will be lost due to the shift to the products, and 1x comes from the stoichiometric coefficient in the balanced equation. Next, we'll ignore liquid water. Then we'll write plus 1x for the conjugate acid and the hydroxide. The plus sign represents the products will be gained due to the shift to the products. And 1x comes from the stoichiometric coefficients in the balanced equation. We'll finally sum the terms in each column to get the equilibrium concentrations. Now, let's set up our equilibrium expression using the law of mass action and insert the equilibrium concentrations. The equation is x squared in the numerator and 0 0.30 minus x in the denominator. And the equilibrium constant is 4.4 times 10 raised to the minus 4. Let's look at this equation further. At this point, the chemistry is essentially over, and it becomes a math problem. We can solve this problem one of two ways. First, we can use the quadratic formula, or second, we can use the approximation method for weak bases, just as we did for weak acids in earlier videos. But I say, let's do both for fun. For the quadratic formula, we have to get all the terms on one side and set the other side equal to zero. I'll first multiply both sides by the denominator term. This will cancel the denominator term on the left side. 
Next, I can distribute the KB constant term into the parentheses on the right side. Here is the equation now. I'll move the terms from the right to the left by subtracting and adding the right-hand terms respectively. These terms will cancel on the right-hand side, and I'll do the same on the left-hand side. Here is the new equation, which gives our A, B, and C terms for the quadratic formula. Here's our good friend, the quadratic equation, and I'll plug in the two B terms, the two A terms, and the single C term. The quadratic equation always gives two answers, and one will never make physical sense for us chemists. Be sure to always test your answers. In this example, the negative term will not make sense. There cannot be a negative concentration of hydroxide, so we can ignore this answer. The concentration of hydroxide is 1.1 times 10 raised to the minus 2 molar. Before moving on to the pH, let's briefly review the approximation method. I explained this in earlier videos where I solve for the pH of weak acids. The same principles are at work here. For weak bases, we can approximate that the shift to the right, minus x, is so small that we can essentially ignore it. So here's the new equation. I'll multiply both sides by the initial concentration, 0 0.30, and the 0 0.30 term cancels on the left side. This gives us the x squared term on the left. We can take the square root of both sides to find x, or the concentration of hydroxide. As I discussed in earlier videos for solving for the pH of weak acids, you can jump to this approximation to find the concentration of hydroxide. We can take the square root of the Kb times the initial concentration of the base and find that the concentration of hydroxide is 1.1 times 10 raised to the minus 2 molar. To two significant figures, this is the same concentration that we found using the quadratic formula earlier. Before finishing, we must check the percent dissociation. This is the percentage of base that dissociates with respect to the initial concentration. I'll take the concentration of hydroxide, 1.1 times 10 raised to the minus 2, and divide by the initial concentration of the methylamine, 0 0.30 molar. The percent dissociation is 3.7%. Approximations are acceptable for dissociations less than 5%, but we must use the quadratic formula for dissociations more than 5%. In this example, the approximation is acceptable. Now we can find the pH of this solution, finally. The following equations are all explained in an earlier video. We know the concentration of hydroxide. I'll use this equation of Kw over the concentration of hydroxide to solve for the concentration of H+, 9.1 times 10 raised to the minus 13 molar. And finally, the pH is the negative log of this concentration, giving a pH of 12.04, a basic solution.